Hi friends, this is the Nero Research and welcome to the part number 16 of Cryptocurrency Trading Bot Tutorial. In the previous video we began integration with Bitfinex Exchange. Actually we have implemented historical data request which is used uh, to initialize our technical indicators. And today we will implement second task which is request of live price data and this live price data will be used to update indicators uh, data and to find trading opportunities. Before we start coding live price data request I want to fix small bug from my previous video. In function get his data we have a variable start data, which is used to calculate starting point from which we will request our historical data. And this start date is calculated in seconds. But Bitfinex API requires us to have this date in milliseconds. That is why we have to multiply everything by 1000. And that's all bug is fixed. Like I said before, we'll use WebSockets to request live price data. And Bitfinex already has this beautiful library called Bitfinex API node, where all functions we need are already implemented. So let's begin with installation of this library. Projects Blade Runner npm install Bitfinex API node save. Okay, let's wait until installation complete. Library is installed, so we are ready to import it into bfxtrade.js. Let's create constant with x that will require our library bitfinex api node, and from this library we need WebSockets. So let's create another constant, call it bws, and we'll create new object with x dot ws version two. So we'll use bitfinex WebSockets version two in our code. In order to receive live price data, we have to subscribe to Ticker channel, listen to the channel and handle potential errors. So in case of any errors, we'll print them in the console terminal. So let's type bws on error and we'll print that error in console. Console error. Okay, now we need to initialize subscription to ticker channel. We will do that in bfx.trade function. Each pair has its own ticker channel. That is why we have to make several subscriptions for each pair we trade. So let's add pairs array as an argument to bfx trade function pairs. Now we are ready to open channel and subscribe to each pair. So let's do that. BFS on open function without any arguments. And here we we'll loop through pairs array and open subscription for each pair. Let's create the loop for where pair of pairs BWS subscribe ticker T plus pair BFX with findings API version the two requires to put T before pair name. Now we need to open WebSockets. So BWS open. 
This is almost everything we need to do to initialize subscription to channel. But from practice I know that these web sockets are very buggy and they may hang for some unknown reason and you may even do not know about that. So let's make some tweak and reboot these web sockets every two hours for instance. So take take interval function function without any arguments. So let's do this every two hours. So two multiplied by sixty by sixty and by one thousand. Firstly let's print in the console some information about rebooting our web sockets. So console log restarting web sockets. Now let's close web sockets and reopen them again. Open. Well, that's everything we need to initialize web sockets. Let's take a look at information that is published in Ticker channel. So we have some info about bids, asks, daily change, last price, actually what we need, volume, high and low price. But be careful, these high and low values are only for daily time frame. But we work with 30 minutes time frames. That is why these high and low values are not suitable for us. We must construct a function that will provide these high and low values for 30 minutes time frame. Let's create a function that will pull out of the channel last price value and will calculate high and low values. So let's use prototyping, basic straight prototype. Let's call this function get prices and this equals to function without any arguments yet. And let's simply listen to channel on ticker and as a callback we have function with two arguments. First one is pair and the second one is some ticker data. Let's look how this data looks like by printing this data into console. So look pair data. Let's keep this function for now as it is and we'll upgrade it later. Let's save file and modify now manager of .js. So we have to make some changes in this row. So here we need to provide pairs array to open web sockets. Let's do that. And let's call function get prices inside the runbot function. But before let's type in a console some message about initializing bot. So we need initializing bot and bfx get prices. Let's save, open console and run code to make sure that everything works correctly. Node app optimize.js. Well, we have some error with importing, so let's check what we can do with fixing. I have initialized the BWS object incorrectly, so Let's open API documentation and see how we, we should do that. So we have to import library as we did and create new BFX object and later take 
the uh, WebSocket function. So let's simply copy and paste this snap of code into our part. Well, let, let's remove this part, we don't need it yet. Also, I have checked that WebSocket version 2 API works differently from version 1. And there are some things that are not suitable for us in for this video specifically. So I want to return to version 1. So we'll use version API version 1 in this video. So let's hit save and run code again. Okay, let's go to terminal. Node app optimize.js initializing. Great. Here we see all information we need from ticker channel. We have bid, ask, daily change, last price, what is very important for us. For every pair we trade Monero, Ethereum and Dash. Okay, now let's work with last price to calculate high and low values. Firstly, let's create price object in BFX trade. So let's call it this prices and this object will be empty for now. This object will contain last high low price for every trade pair we trade. So this object will be initialized inside the, this function get prices. So if prices has no property pair. So we need to create it. But firstly we have to do the following. Like create a variable which will call self and it will be equal to this. Self prices has has own property Pair and this if price pr prices object has no property pair, we'll create this property self prices pair equal to we need last price. which equals to, let's call it, minus infinity high price, sorry, last price high price which equals also to minus infinity and low price which equals to infinity. So we do this for empty properties of pair object. If pair object is already initialized, we'll skip this step. So I think we can do this by take into brackets here. Yes, okay. Now let's update prices object with information from the channel. So we already have last price, so let's simply you assign last price property here, which equals to data last price. If data last price is greater than high price, then we have to update high price. 
and high price equals to data loss price and similarly for low price let's copy this if statement and update if last price is less than low price then low price equals to last price so let's Save this and print into console to make sure that we have done everything correctly. Let's print prices object here. Okay, let's check again. Oh, I have typo. Property. Save again and let's see what we have. Initializing board and yet another error. Let's figure out what what's wrong. I forgot about quotes, so let's put them. Low price, last price, low price, last price, last price. Last price, last price, last price, last price, last price. Hopefully I have fixed everything. Let's hit save again and run code. Initializing. Good. What we see is that we have last price for dash, high price and low price. Over the time these values will be updated. But in the end of 30 minutes time frame we have to reset high and low values for every pair. So let's create function that will do that for us. bfx trade prototype reset prices equals to function. As an argument we'll use pair name pair and we'll update simply properties of prices object prices where high price equals to minus infinity and similarly low price will be equal to infinity That's all for today. In this video we have started to work with live price data request. So we are now able to subscribe to Ticker channel and read Ticker data. In the upcoming video we will use this data to update technical indicators and find trading opportunities. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye.